I ate my lunch in the first 45 minutes, so I'm so glad that I'm getting hungry now, and we're lucky that on yeah. World News Now, we're going to go ahead and make this our favorite, favorite story, story of, of the, the day. day. Because we get to eat. Chicken and waffles. <laughs> That's right. We're combining crunchy and soft, salty and sweet, and pretty much everything that tastes good. And ABC's Nikki Batiste shows us how it's done in the Insomniac Kitchen. We're at Root and Bone in New York City. They're known here for their signature fried chicken, and they turn it into a chicken and waffle sandwich. Let's go inside and learn their secrets. We're in the kitchen with chef and owner, Jeff McInnes, who is going to teach us how to make their signature fried chicken. Let's get started. All right. The most important thing about fried chicken is to start with a good bird. So we're bringing in some chickens from Pennsylvania. Uh, it's Amish territory out there, so we got a guy that drives all the way out there, brings them back. You can hire me. I'm, I'm from Pennsylvania. Really? From Amish country. Why don't you drive the truck out there and get it? I'll let you Am I hired? Truck. Yeah. <laughs> So what we're gonna do with the chicken, I've already cut it, and what we're gonna do is we're going to brine it. Our solution of brine today is gonna to be made out of tea. Why don't you give me a hand? You're gonna to toss in all these spices. So we're gonna throw some onion in here. We've got a couple different kinds of peppers here, so you can grab those peppercorns. I've got some paprika, some cayenne, some pepper. We've got our garlic and onion we threw in. So we're just gonna take this chicken, we're gonna plunge it in, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit for about a day. Then you just slice these up, just slice them about yay thick. Now you're gonna put them in the oven, and we're gonna let that sit overnight. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna come in and they're gonna look like little dehydrated chips. Now we need to turn it into a powder. So this chicken has been sitting in sweet tea for yes. a day. And what's our next step? Next step is to fry it. So we need to dredge it into flour. The final step is to drop this into the fryer. So we have our fried chicken, but you take it to a whole nother level with the waffle. We got cheddar cheese here. We're gonna throw this in the oven and just let it melt for a minute. Chicken time. Chicken is fried. All right, we have our fried chicken, so now the secret yes. lemon dust. Yeah, so get a big pinch, a couple big pinches, I think. Whatever you like, that's a little bit of dill and parsley. So you can do this any way you want it. Okay. So you can take a waffle, I like to douse mine with some bourbon, maple syrup, maybe a little hot sauce, why not? All right, ready? All right, cheers. 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 Mm, that's all. Love this guy. Oh, I can't wait, so dig all right, it. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, you're gonna you do get it. get the syrup on here, though. Yeah, this is a whiskey Could syrup, get a apparently. And, whiskey, um, <laughs> whiskey, anything is good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Digging in. Yeah, mm. what do you think? Incredible. Yeah. The waffle is fantastic. You have to dip, it, dip it, it in the red sauce. It, it really does taste like whiskey. Seriously. Like, it gives you a little whiskey. Have what's some the, of what's those, the, red the red sauce. It's a do good, you know what that is? It, it's a really yummy sauce. Do um, I put the chicken in the, in the sauce? So, you know, Americans have been eating chicken and waffles mm -hmm. for a very long time. Apparently, dip 60 or 1600. Have a little, have, take a little taste. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, Sort of like a hot sauce, a sticky, yeah. tangy kind of thing going on. I found on. it very. Do you have steam coming out of your but ears? This, I'm wondering now if I literally drink this syrup though, because yeah. it's got a, like a whiskey flavor. It totally will. Will I get a little buzz? It, you probably will. Like, you look, know what this reminds I'm me of? I'm drinking syrup right now. The ladies. HBO series Mildred Pierce with um, Kate Winslet. And I've always wanted to open up my chicken and waffle shop. And I can't believe you just took a shot of that. Oh, good. <laughs> We're taking shots. We'll be back. <laughs>